Hello YouTube land, we are unexpectedly back with the F-50. Now, you see the fuse box here. This is a replacement for the one I have in mind. Ford once again did something pretty smart while keeping to the whole mentality of buy our shit with the upgrades so that way we have to uh, reprogram your shit. So, came from a 4x4. You see a few pins are already removed. Why is my phone vibrating? Whatever. It's just plug and play. Now Ford has all the wires preset in here, which is wonderful. However, the fuse box is slightly different. Now I'm going to show you. So, I've already removed my positive cable from right there. Well, let's have a look here. Let me turn this in the same way. Like that. Okay. Now if we look here, you'll see that there are pins here, where there are no pins here. Now we'll be wondering why. Well, this box here is for basic XLT, the bare bones. Came from a XLT with uh, more options, 4x4 included. Now inside here, we have blank spots, where here, we have wire ends. I originally bought this planning on just soldering it back into my board, but then I realized, oh wait, I can just swap this out. When did I figure I can swap this out? Well, found out today when I pulled this one out of the box. So, it's all pretty much plug and play. It's held on by two clips and three plugs. Sorry, four clips, on each, two on each side, and three plugs. The plugs will be annoying to get to, but I've done worse things. But yeah, let's see if I can get this thing done within a reasonable amount of time. Spin you guys around. Oh, that's nice and toasty. You can find a nice balancing point. That'd be nice. Right about there. If I can just... Oh, wait. Forgive me guys, I'm just trying to get something right. Okay, let's see, how's, how's that showing? No, you can't see what the fuck I'm doing. Okay. To the block. Okay, okay it's a bit annoying. I'm trying everything I can here, guys. Damn you. Alright. <sighs> you know what? I'll be right back. So I fell a bit there. Had to pull apart more than I thought. Mostly all right here. No blood yet, so that's a surprise. I already got two, and there's one third one in the back there, which is just a pain in the ass to get to. So one second. All right, we got it out. Got no damage here. Nothing over here. It's a little bit of debris in here from just being around. Nothing major, just to show you differences. This is the old one. This is the new one. You already see. Like right here, it's 4x4. Took that out. And you have a few missing parts here. Clips here. Which one was it? There's like one particular. This pink guy. That's for my mirrors. These are for seats. I forgot these two are for. I think it's 4x4. Anyway, so I'm matching them up. What's that one? Hmm. I might transplant that one over. And I will once it. Alright, back into it. So, yeah. Um, 
Let's see, I'll make sure these all match. New one, old one. Old one, 10, 10, 10. 10, matching. 15. Huh. Alright, oh, this is the new one, that's right. I should put, put a mark on this this guy. 20 in the new one. Okay. Yeah, I definitely should have marked these. Three twenty, thirty. Good, good, good. Yeah, you guys can see my process here that I'm running a mile a minute. That matches that. I had no pieces here. This is like for snow plow shit, which I don't have. Yes, I don't because it's red and blue. Recognize that. Everything looks the same. Yeah, okay. Also, like I said, I heard something fall. I'm pretty sure it's one of the fuses which I just put in there as a space holder. Which I will find later. Because I'm tired. Alright, back to work. Alright, got the new one in. I think I have it hooked up correctly with these guys. It's kind of hard to tell. That one's a blank. One, two, three, four. I am not fully sure. This has to require... Hmm. Let's see. Let me check that wire which I pulled off. Get back. Okay, there's the bent wire which came out of there. And four and four, three. That's it. That's the right wire. Okay. Looking good. Another thing four did right. Having it so these stickers can only go one way. Again, very friendly. <laughs> this one is only two way. This is a fat one way. This is a skinny one way. Yeah. I can dig it forward. I can dig it. All right. We're all back together. Let me pull everything out of here. Oh yeah, the XLT is back. The shop I was having it fixed at shut down, so I'm kind of sad on that one. Alright. Let's fire her up for the first time. Hopefully no errors. Hood jar, dimmer, vehicle's on, door jar, hood jar, okay. Nothing new. Can't tell if this thing's working or not. Okay, we have light. I don't see a spotlight kicking in. I do all this for nothing. Maybe it's Abby M4 scan. Hmm. Oh well, I'll check in on that one. On the bright side, though, no error codes. If I get it fixed up, I'll get figure out what the issue is. I'll get right back to you guys. But now it's a bit of a wash. I don't let it down. So my apologies. Anyway, be right back if it works out. And the conclusion. Working spotlights. Found out missing one really annoying device. Local junkyard gave me the part for free, so that was wonderful. So these Fords didn't come with it originally. They have a little blanker spot right here. So there's a device right there. A little. So you can see the two wires there. The device right here that you need to get. 
Now it works. I got spotlights. They light up now. And I'm very happy with that. Anyway, it's starting to rain. I'm getting annoyed. Get back in auto. Anyway, have a good night.